ultramarines. Puh! We don't need those big blue boy scouts. Lieutenant Jacks, Jax, your commentary is as stupid as it is insubordinate. Consider yourselves back on latrine duty. I don't think I've ever heard something so absurd as a man sent on a suicide mission complaining about assistance from space marines. Permission to speak frankly, sir. Well, at least you asked permission. Go ahead, Higgins. I know the whole Emperor's finest thing, sir, but guardsmen serving next to space marines get killed by the hundreds. That is because space marines get involved when circumstances are most dire. In all likelihood, if we fought alone, we would all simply die. With the help of the ultramarines, some of us at least stand a chance at survival. If you say so, sir. I do say so, Higgins. And we have intelligence indicating the general location of the Swarm Lord. The Tyranids have been making a lot of probing attacks, looking for weaknesses in the line. We observed similar tactics being used in the breakthrough at Zvierdza Zamkova. And we saw the Swarm Lord show its ugly face there. Given the tactical significance of the mountain range, we can expect our friend to be there as well. Frosttooth Mountains! <laughs> they didn't give us no cold weather gear! We're just going to be freeze-dried snacks for those bugs. While I still don't like your tone, Jax, that is a good point nonetheless. And I think I have a plan for that as well. It's not an ideal plan. But I can assure you that in the very worst circumstance, the dead have no need for cold-weather gear. Come on, men. Let's move out. <laughs>